we're just going to show people a few features of this Tesla. And it's going to be weird through my phone, so. So you can change all your driving parameters, lights, locks, display features, autopilot, driving features. Like in driving, you can choose between chill and sport, how the steering is, uh, regenerative braking. Down here, you've got what happens when you let off the brake, I mean, off the gas. I happen to like it to come to a complete stop. Uh, you can, it's almost as good as, shit, it's, it's as good as brakes. Uh, in fact, I don't use the brakes. So that's one of those setups. Then you have autopilot. I didn't buy autopilot. Uh, that's a hefty upgrade. It's about eight grand. And uh, I'll hold off. It's just a software upgrade. They do it over a, a Wi Fi update once you pay the money. You got safety and security. You got your navigation stuff. You got service. So if I have a problem with the car, I just set up which kind I want and uh, it'll schedule an appointment. They'll tell me what time it is and then I'll meet. Uh, let's see, get rid of the quick controls. How about the AC? This is one of the coolest features. Now, you see that this is the vents and I can move the vents up. I can change all the, where it's blowing on me. Since there's nobody in the passenger side, there wasn't that wasn't on. I can widen it out, I can blow it down. Of course, I can always make it go down to the floor. You see the controls over on the sides. They got the standard defrost and all that stuff. But yeah, quite different. Just the and just the GUI itself. Uh, just really nice. Uh, you get, so then I get over here to, it's hard to navigate through the phone. So you got entertainment. So I got Netflix, Hulu, all that good stuff then uh, the web so I can you know just like any other web browser well, as soon as it opens up just like any other web browser I can do anything I got all my favorites over there so I can come to anything while I'm going here's a, a route planner that's uh, works very good for the Tesla's things like that uh, why well, I have to okay that every time I have no idea um, and basically like music sources so if I go here you can see that at the bottom, you got radio, phone, streaming, karaoke, tune in, Spotify, USB stick, uh, all kind of stuff. That's crazy. And then let's see, one of these other features, this is the dumbest thing you've ever seen. This is the difference between car manufacturers and computer nerds. So look at this. So you can assign a fart to any, to any sounds. There's 15 or so different tight you can move it around in the stereo so you can blame it on anybody in the car just not and then they, a lot of these now that's available all the time but like this is only available when you're still it's a uh, basically it's a musical program where you can play all the soundtracks record yourself all that you got your romance I'm not gonna hit it because it turns on the heater it is a fireplace. It's great for when you're sitting at the charger in a winter day. I guess it's romantic. Comes out all those wood crackling sound comes out the the speakers and everything. But it does turn the heater on. It's like we need a southern mode. You never need a heater in Texas. Uh, you got a sketch pad. You can do art stuff like that. Not sure what Mars is. Let's see. Uh, transform your map to the picture of Mars. That'll help me a lot. Uh, Rainbow Road. Uh, what this thing is if you just push your gear this gear stalk down four times it makes the road like that uh why i don't know but you know so what happens is this this car when you're driving has the lanes on the side of it and it shows all the cars and trucks going by you what to warn you for it's it's quite interesting i'll have to do it underway at some point see ya